Okay, so for Christmas, I got a little Christmas money. And one of the things that I did not like about about the Holy Roller is, is that it is a 1999. So the uh, so the uh, idea of a glass cockpit or a, or a glass dash just not there. It's all it's all analog gauges. But I do know that this has a computer. And so I got to look in, and there is there are a couple of things online um, that is similar to like a like an OBD uh, scanner for your car, uh, where the technician plugs it in, it tells all the error codes and all the faults and everything from the computer in your car. Well, I do know that this 99 uh, or this 2000 Freightliner, it's a 2000 Freightliner with a 99 Fleetwood Discovery 37V box on it. And I do know that it has a computer and it has a, a, a truck version of the OBD. Um, and so what I did was I found, there's a couple of them. One is VMS PC uh, that you can plug it into that and then it will give you, you don't have to just trust the dummy lights. Uh, it actually gives you the specific readings of lots of things in the engine uh, and what's going on with the rig while you're driving. And so what, uh, what I did here was I, I opted for this thing. It's called Blue Fire. And Blue Fire comes in this little, this little plastic case. And when you, when you open it up, it is this little doohickey thing right here. Now, this little, this little thing, let's see if we can get a good view of this. This is this. Is this. It has uh, a lot of electronics on it. And on the other side, it actually plugs into the port uh, on the on the coach here and the port is actually underneath the steering wheel and then this thing through Bluetooth will connect to a PC will connect to an iPad uh, your phone something like that and then what you can do is in the software you can create your own dash of all of the things that you want to see uh, certainly you can do um, you can do fuel level you can do speedometer you can do all the things that are just already on the dash but you can do a lot of other things too that your your car that if you have a newer car might already do, um, but your older but your older coach might not like tell you what your miles per gallon are, uh, tell you what your distance to empty is, um, you know tell you specifically uh, rather than just looking on the gauge and just kind of guessing what your ammeter is, it'll tell you exactly precisely what the ammeter is, and so what what the plan is here is to number one plug this into the port and it'll it'll live there, and then. We will use this. I purchased this on Amazon or from Walmart, rather. It's it's about a hundred bucks. It is a uh, it is an RCA Cambio. It's a PC tablet. It runs on Windows 10. Uh, for a hundred bucks, a full version of Windows 10 and a tablet with a keyboard is a pretty good deal. Uh, so it'll do everything that a tablet would do. Plus, I can lay the dash out of all the things that I want to see while I'm driving, and then I will install that here on my cockpit so that. Not only can I see my gauges and my warning things that are on the coach itself, but I can also have specifics that I want to know. Specifically, exactly uh, one of the things that I really think is cool is exactly what my cruise is set at. Uh, is my cruise on or off? This is this has got the older uh, cruise thing that's just on a stick, so you kind of have to you just guessing where you're putting it. Uh, so anyway, it's going to be hopefully it'll help me while I drive. But in this, we'll also permanently mount uh, our, our our Garmin RV GPS. Uh, so we'll permanently mount those things so that from now on we don't have to go uh, suction cupping things to the to the windows. I can open the window if I need to while I'm driving or, or if I need to talk to somebody, especially uh, you know when you pull into a campground and you're checking in with the security people there. It's a whole lot easier just to open your window uh, rather than have to stop and park and set the brakes and then get out and go talk to them. But if you have a whole bunch of stuff suction cupped to the side wall like your phone or your GPS or something like that, you can't open the window. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we have to crawl up under here and get to the port. So I'm going to show you where the port is. And the port that this plugs into is right there. So that's the port that the, that the blue fire will plug into. Alright, so we've got to plug this into here. And secure the snap ring. And that's the hardest part of setting the system up. It's not the most time consuming, but it is the hardest. 
Okay, so once you got your Bluefire adapter plugged into the service port, the next thing you're going to do is set up the software. Now, the software is, is, is really pretty simple to use. It's not, uh, it's not anything tough. The, the one thing that you have to know, though, is uh, that it's not GUI um, it, to the complete extent that you might think. Um, I got the, uh, the Blue Fire, and I have a PC tablet. I got a Cambio tablet from Walmart. It cost me 100 bucks. It's a great little tablet, but it also will Bluetooth connect to, uh, to the Blue Fire. So what I did was on the on the dash here, I just mounted a magna mount uh, and then put a little magnet on the back of the Cambio, and so I can set that right there. I also routed a power plug um, from the outlet down on the down on the floor up back through the dash and then up through the dash, so I can plug that up and have power to it. Uh, the Bluetooth is fairly intuitive. It connects up and then uh, the screen or the dash that you set up in your Bluefire software will display all of the stuff that, uh, that the computer in your rig will tell it. Uh, so what you have to do is figure out what those parameters are before you set up your dash. Uh, and then you can mount your tablet. There's a lot of different ways to mount the tablet. There has, there's some folks you can see some uh, some pictures online where people will put uh, specific blocks like a RAM mount or something on the A pillar there and mount and mount the tablet in a portrait mode versus a landscape mode where I have here. Um, they'll also on that same RAM mount they'll put a magna mount for. Uh, maybe for their GPS, like uh, the Garmin RV GPS here, or I've got another magnet mount for my phone right here. Um, so you can mount it there. There's a, there's another uh, another guy that has mounted this complete box underneath there. You can even, uh, if you have a computer like this, you could even set this computer up Bluetooth and run it to your TV. Um, there's a lot of different ways. And since it's since my particular one is PC, the other thing I can do is I can make uh, half the screen, uh, the blue fire, and then the other half my GPS, if I wanted to, or a map, or or information like that. So it really is 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 neat to use. When you do put your when you do make your dash, uh, it is completely customizable. You do it. Um, and you set it up exactly how you want to. There's different, there's different uh, dash uh, gauges that you can set up, the round type gauges, or you can even have text type information so that you can put a whole lot of information on one if you don't like the dash look. Um, I've got everything set up on mine. Uh, where it will where it will tell me what cr what cruise control speed is set at, um, if the cruise is on or off, uh, RPM, transmission temperature, coolant temperature, oil pressure. Um, it's really nice because it kind of gives you a backup to gauges that you may or may not already have on your on your dash, and it, it prevents you from having to rely on the idiot light. Um, you can see something going on before you get that warning horn. So as far as as far as I'm concerned right now, the Blue Fire setup is is exactly what I wanted. Um, it was at the price point that I really wanted as well. The adapter was only 150 bucks. Um, certainly, if if you have a uh, if you have a later or or a newer coach, um, you may want some additional stuff. The Blue Fire is great. You can also do the VMS PC. Um, a couple of those things out there. Uh, but for me, uh, after installing the Blue Fire and how easy it was and 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 how simple it was to set up. I mean, really, the biggest problem that I had was figuring out where I wanted to put it on my dash so it wasn't in the way of any of my mirrors or my visibility out the front window. So uh, with that, I you know I cannot recommend this enough. Um, there's even a couple of forums. Um, I know on the IRV2 uh, forum pages as well as even uh, on, I think, the Blue Fire uh, website, can, uh, you can actually get... Uh, customized dashes that other people have uploaded and you can download theirs. The one thing I will say though is it's not 100% GUI. You can you can uh, you can use your drag and drop method to put the put the specific gauge where you want it. But as far as sizing the gauge and the and the uh, degree of the arc of the gauge, that is all manual. You have to actually go into the actual gauge itself. Um, you double click on the gauge and then it brings up a whole lot of parameters for that gauge and then you can set uh, by typing in the numbers whether it's a 360 degree and also the uh, the the ratio of how big the gauge actually is um so i'll put a screenshot here up on on the screen of my gauge and how gauges and how i've, how I've set up my dash of when it's in the landscape mode um, but again i can't recommend this uh, this blue fire thing enough it was really easy to install and for uh, for for what I need, it's perfect. And the also the nice thing is to be able to grab a hundred dollar laptop or a hundred dollar desktop, running Windows 10 
off of uh, off of the Walmart.com website. It's again, it's an RCA Cambio two in one. Uh, I think they they're going for 108, but uh, I think on Black Friday they had them for 75 bucks. And and the great thing is, uh, especially with this magnetic mount, um, when I get where I'm going, I've got a tablet that I can pull off here and I can you know play card games or surf the web or do anything else like that that I want to do so it really is a dual function kind of thing for me so hope this has helped you uh, again get out there have fun make memories with your family and uh, make sure make sure that you make it to church on Sunday